Hello there fellow Thomas Chefs. I am finally done with this level. It took me four hours. I'm gonna link the body if you want to see it. But this is 11. <laughs> I can't even talk now. Level 11 sounds delicious. I finally got a hundred percent and I had to do some crazy stuff to get there. I don't understand why most levels are fairly fair. I feel like you just reduce your footprint, you know, make it as small as possible, reduce power usage. And you usually get the 100%. This one I had to eke it out. I had to milk that last percent out. Anyways, why don't we go over it? So we got the hot dog here and the cheeseburger here. And these are not tied to order readers. If you use order readers, it will actually give you a lower efficiency rating because you're going to use more power and use more ingredients. Don't ask me why. I had to take a sip of water there. I believe the reasoning is that you're getting a constant influx of uh, hot dog and cheeseburger orders. So usually what I do is I use the order reader to turn the grills and assemblers off when there's no orders. But since there's so many orders, it's just almost always on. So the additional power usage of the order reader uh, makes it a lot worse. Also, you're spamming more ingredients. But why don't I go over it? This is the hot dog. The dispensers have to be set to 19 for the hot dogs, all right? A lot of people um, kind of ignore the setting. This is important. 19 is the optimal one. So this one goes into the dumb arm, which loads it onto the grill. Everything is set to power saving mode as well, by the way, both the grill and the assembler. It goes here, the smart arm picks it up and puts it into here. The bun is right here, just poops out and goes into here. And this arm drops it off to the left right here. This is the cheeseburger. Everything is set to 20 seconds. The cheese, the buns, and the patties have to be set to 20. Again here, the grill is set to power saving as well as the assembler for the cheeseburger. Now the cheese come out here into the food processor. The bun comes out here. The patty comes out here into the dumb arm which loads it to the grill and then the smart arm takes the patty off, cook patty off, and then drops it off here. And then this dumb arm picks it, everything up and puts it into the assembler. And then this dumb arm picks it up and puts it down here. So these will always be pumping out hot dogs and cheeseburgers on low power mode and this is the optimal way to do it. If you guys know of a better way, let me know because I would like to explore different methods. Now here is the hardest part and I'm proud of what I did. This is my solution. So we have bacon fries, fries, and loaded cheese fries. If you look here, fries uses potatoes. Bacon fries uses potatoes, bacons, and grated cheese. And then a load of cheese fries uses the same thing and then a egg. So here's what I did. First of all, we have the ingredients set to 21 for the cheese, 21 for the bacon, and then 16 for the potato. It has to be those numbers. You can tweak it a uh, second here or there, but then you have to shift everything else, and I don't know how it works. I just have to feel it out. I use cut instinct. <laughs> all right. So cheese has to go through two food processors. All right. If you go through one, it's a slice of cheese. If you go through two, it's grated. So we got the bacon coming out here, it goes into the dumb arm, loads it onto the grill. The grill is in power saving mode. The fry matic is also in power saving mode. Everything is in power saving mode for this one. So the smart arm picks up the crispy bacon and drops it off here. So the potato goes through here and then it goes here. And then this belt carries everything down, including the grated cheese. Now what happens is I have an order reader here set for fries and what it does is it turns on the packaging machine and then it will activate the smart arm once and the smart arm is right here. So what it does is this conveyor belt has all the ingredients going down for bacon fries and then this arm will pick up the fry wedges and drop it here into the fries packaging machine. Now this one is set for bacon fries here. This order reader is for loaded cheese fries and it does the same thing. It activates all these arms once and then turns on the packaging machine while the order is pending. So this is a loaded cheese fries. What happens is we got the egg here. We got order reader just for the egg. So it dispenses the egg one time, turns on the fryer, 
and then the smart arm will activate once and then the food processor will turn on. I put this here so I can see power. The food processor also uses power, so if I turn it off when it's not in use, I save enough where I got an extra percent. Okay, so remember, dispenser for the egg, the fry medic, the robot arm, the smart arm uses power as well, and the food processor all turn on. The robot arm, I want you, you just have to, have to do it once. One action, alright? So the egg comes out into the food processor, the dumb arm puts it into the fryer, the smart arm picks it up and puts it into here. This is the line for the package, the packager for the loaded cheese fries. So how it works is all the ingredients go down here and if I get loaded cheese fries, these arms will pick the item up once. And this is important as well, set these conveyor belts to 3. Okay, if you set it to 5, it might be too fast and the arm can slip up. 2 is the absolute slowest you can go without it being too slow. 3, you might still miss a few food items. But anyways, for in my experience, 3 is slow enough. So I set these 3 belts to 3. It's beautiful. The grated cheese, the potato wedges, and the bacon strips go down here. And as soon as a loaded cheese fries order comes in, the egg will poop out on this side. And then these arms will grab all the necessary items and dump it into this line and this thing will make it. Now if there are no loaded cheese fries, it will just drop everything here and make bacon fries. I've noticed that bacon fries are the most common order item in, in the order queue. So having bacon fries as the default is good. And then if I need fries, I'll just pick it up and make it here. So why don't we give it a go? This took me almost four hours to figure out. My goodness. So again, I tested it with order readers and turning the grill and assembler off. And I actually ended up using more power because of the order reader and it lost efficiency. So just having this automated here is the best. This is the smallest I can make it. I literally use all of my brain power to remove as many conveyor belts as possible and this is the smallest footprint that I can make. Oh, I think I put this order machine here. I don't know why it's here now. There we have it folks, there we have it, 100% on sounds delicious, it took forever, oh my god, this is bringing back PTSD for trying to be level 27 which I haven't yet. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it, 91,250 for money spent, 138 ingredients, and 1,975 watt hours. I am not sure how you are supposed to make this smaller, if you guys know, let me know, I would love to see your builds. But anyways, hope this helps and hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, or things you would like to see, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And I will catch you guys next time.